celebrities may lead glamorous lives and be able to afford just about anything they want, but all that fame and wealth does not protect them from being ripped off just like you and me and all the other schmucks. In fact, the owner of a Beverly Hills spa is going to appear in federal court later today facing charges that she ran up hundreds of thousands of dollars in fraudulent charges on her celebrity client's credit cards. Andrea Canning has the details. On the Shea Gabriella Spa website, Cher calls owner Gabriella Perez the Michelangelo of skin care. Halle Berry thanks her for the magic. Perez claims to have treated dozens of A-list clients from Nicole Kidman to former President Bill Clinton, with some facials costing anywhere from three to $6,000. But Perez is accused of running up hundreds of thousands of dollars in fraudulent credit card charges. Named in the criminal affidavit, Anne Hathaway, Cher, and Melanie Griffith. She kept the credit card information and then ran unauthorized charges on the credit cards. The celebrity allegedly hit the hardest, actress Liv Tyler. Federal prosecutors say $214,000 in fraudulent charges were made to her credit cards over a five-month period last year. I think what you have in this case is clearly someone who's quite desperate for money. Celebrities, I think, historically do not like to get involved in cases. And so maybe she was hedging her bets that she could take the money and then work out an informal arrangement with the person later. Gabriela Perez's attorney released a statement saying this is a legitimate business and we fully expect that once all the facts come out that she will be exonerated of all the charges and she is innocent. But the Beverly Hills businesswoman who calls herself a skin artist now faces up to 25 years in prison for her role as an alleged con artist. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News. And to talk more about this, former prosecutor Robin Sachs is joining us live from Los Angeles this morning. Robin, thanks so much for doing this. I, I can't help think that this is unusual because there are celebrities involved, but there's more to it than that, isn't there? There certainly is. Good morning, Ashley. There absolutely is more to this case. It's actually the reverse of celebrity justice here that we're seeing the victimization of a celebrity. But what is most unusual in terms of identity theft and credit card theft <coughs> is how personal um, the fraud is, this is not multiple degrees of identity theft like we normally see for most people. This is someone where the actual person who is fixing your zits and fixing your wrinkles is actually going and charging your credit card. Thanks for that image. Huge <laughs> Robin, come on. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you also, um, when I was looking at uh, one of the affidavits in the case, um, I, I was kind of struck right away by the fact that the Secret Service was involved in this. Not only the feds, but the Secret Service as well. And then I started to put two and two together. I know they can freeze bank accounts, so that kind of helps me to understand why they're involved. But is there another reason why this is actually a federal case? Well, the Los Angeles County DA's office probably would love to have this case because really this is a, appears to be a case where there is a ton of evidence and, we're, and the federal uh, officials here in Los Angeles are notorious for only taking cases where there are lots of evidence, where there is a lot of evidence, where there's a lot of proof. And the biggest difference in this case and probably why it went the federal route besides the fact that it appears to be a lot of proof and evidence is that the mandatory sentencing is much greater and the punishment is much greater thus hopefully um, ensuring that these celebrities won't have to testify and that there won't be a trial. I also thought maybe that whole fancy interstate commerce thing might come into play too because that's another charge that they can handle. Um, you know, it, when people hear the headline, the celebrities are involved, they kind of think of the veritable red carpet going through the courtroom. And there are some really big stars here like Cher and Anne Hathaway and Liv Tyler and Melanie Griffiths and Jen Aniston. I mean, these are really A-listers. Is it possible we might actually see them parade into court? Well, it's always possible. You know, it depends what the deal is and how good the deal is. This Gabriella may not have so much to lose. However, if she can come up with the cash and actually provide restitution to make those celebrities whole again, we're likely to see a plea bargain in this case. And, and certainly if the evidence is stacked against her, as you know from your experience, you know, that's very unlikely to have a case if she can get some sort of deal negotiated. Although her lawyer came out saying she's going to be exonerated of everything, which is, you know, pretty big words to say say on the day of arraignment. Yeah, yeah, but I have heard those before too and seen things yes, uh, turn remarkably differently. You know, with, with Liv Tyler's case, Robin, there was like $214,000 in fraudulent charges. I could only hope that in my lifetime <laughs> I'll put that much on my credit card. But it, you know, are celebrities easy targets because they, they have a lot of handlers or, or maybe they don't look at their, their charges the way we do? 
Well, that's one of the ways is that, is that celebrities are the ideal and perfect victim there, and they are traditionally victims of financial crimes. They, first of all, they have lots of people handling them, as you mentioned, and you can have, you know, an accountant, an assistant, and not only the people handling them, but people who have access to their personal information. And where the charges are occurring at a place that they normally frequent, it's, it goes undetected very easily if they say, oh, did you have a, a huge charge or a huge bill at Gabriella's uh, studio? Uh, Jennifer Aniston, you could easily see her say, oh, yeah, 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 I was there last week and move on. So it really is a little bit different in terms of being a target because they don't necessarily look at their own records as meticulously as the yeah. average Joe. Well, I knew you were the person to go to, not only because you're smart and pretty and you're former prosecutor, but this happened to you, too. So it's, it's remarkable. Robin, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.